Restoration. Restoration is brought to you by Hisense. Everyday prices for everyday people. Yeah, it's extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. A donko hand sanitizer. Sure, or do. Thank you, mommy. Introducing Indomie Beef Flavor. Hello, welcome to Restoration with Stacey. We're brought to you by Kind Curtsy High Sense. Everyday prizes for everyday people. Yas Wash and Powder and Yas Sanitary Pad, Hooch Con and Toko Flakes, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, Adonko Original Hand Sanitizer and Adonko Next Level. A very big thank you going out to my Glam Squad, ABS Lux Line, located at I'm located at Odoko, opposite Anointed Electricals. It's on the Odoko Highway. You can visit Ophelia for any outfit for any occasion, and she is sure to serve you right. A big thank you to Divine Cassie for my makeup, to Manuela's Hair Studio, located at North Legon, opposite Cheesy Pizza, for this beautiful bone straight hair. Thank you very much, Gifty, and your team. You're simply amazing. Thank you to GH Beauty Artistry for the makeup of my guest, to Brian Phil Photography and M Clan Media Productions. Thank you very much. <music> Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sanitary pad took the worry away. Easy. The new Yas extra long sanitary pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. But don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. 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 Feel confident. Stay fresh. Is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence. I got. Yes. We got yes protection. I got. Yes, extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. Hello, your friend is Jackie. So we will be our winner on who are the to send me. And Pim Pino, you to me five gems if you get a dear you need your boost here. Your fans, any and that for for any of Nanso, who bet me about home buy? Use a donko hand sanitizer, dip beer, any beer beer. If you say you're to me five gems, if you never mind, you're is home. A donko hand sanitizer, bet to me about home buy, dip beer, free gems, bacteria, ah, you need your home. A donko hand sanitizer, sure or do. Delicious jollof in just 45 minutes and with no chopping, no blending, no cutting. Let me show you how. Pour oil in a pan. Add one 210 grams pack of Tasty Tom jollof mix and fry 10 minutes on medium heat. Add one liter of water or stock water, season and salt and bring to a boil. Add 800 grams. Pepsodent is aware that globally, one in two children suffer from cavities. That's why by giving her Pepsodent, you're not only protecting her teeth, but also helping her grow up and thrive at every stage of her life 
with a healthy and confident smile so she can succeed and achieve all of her dreams. Because every smile matters. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. You like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? As their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook, I can paint. You like no other. In the middle, in the middle, it's you like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introducing Indomie Beef Flavor by now. This is FDA approved. Kojo, wait. Where are you getting all these items from in this economy? Kojo, are you stealing her papa? It's not like that. There is a guaranteed gift in every bag of royal aroma or precious rice you buy. Oh yes, the good news is true. This one, it no be try your luck. Get to the nearest market and pick up any of the amazing Royal Aroma range of products or precious rice. You go win something instantly. Run your way, dear. Royal Aroma say, Oh yeah, ready be. Let's start this. It's FDA approved. Hey, you people, you are not hungry, eh? Oh, we are, oh ma. We'll be there soon. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, why are you so upset? Oh. Babe, please calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Are you? Have you seen this red light? Oh, this red light is wicked. Oh, you are telling me to calm down. Don't let hunger slow your vein. Chuck it with the great tasting Royal King Cracker made with butter and fortified wheat flour to keep you going with your boga level intact. Royal King Cracker, take chalk your hunger. This advert is FDA approved. Pepsodent is aware that globally, one in two children suffer from cavities. That's why by giving her Pepsodent, you're not only protecting her teeth, but also helping her grow up and thrive at every stage of her life with a healthy and confident smile so she can succeed and achieve all of her dreams. Because every smile matters. Restoration. As a people, there are so many things we take for granted when it comes to our health. And I believe there are things that we have seen and taken for granted because we feel it's either spiritual or whatever reason that we might conjure might be the cause of it. But as we grow older and as we mature, we need to have an understanding of some of these things that happens to us so far as our health is concerned. Today's episode is going to touch on a topic I'm sure most people have not really taken time to understand is a medical condition. And that is why I am bringing it to light today. My guest today is Nana Joajani. Yes, and she is with Tyrod Ghana Foundation. And she is going to give us a deeper understanding of what Tyrod is. Please, let's welcome our guest. Nana. Yes, dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Which how angle? are you too? I'm wonderful. Great. Wonderful. You look and thank you very much for your patience. I mean, we, we normally don't have guests who are this patient. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Nana, let's just go into it. When we talk about thyroid, we have so many myths about it. Yes. I remember when we were growing, they say if you talk too much, you can develop thyroid. And when we say thyroid in tree, we call it compo, right? That, right? that is how... That is the enlarged one. That's the enlarged one. Yes. 
Yes, so they'll tell you, oh, oh pekasa do do. Mm -hmm. So when you see someone with the enlarged one, you feel they talk too much. Yes. That is why they have it. Mm -hmm. And some will say, oh, eh, eh, hum, hum, what eh, yes, you know, 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 you yes. But uh, uh, yeah, what is thyroid? Okay, so the thyroid gland is one of the glands that is located below uh, Adam's apple. Okay. You see, when you look at men, you see they have the Adam's apple, apple is protruding. Yeah. Yes, but women, ours is not protruding. And some of us call it the bone neck, so or the neck bone. So that is mostly in men, but in women, it's also there. So the thyroid gland is right below the Adam's apple, mm -hmm. and it has a very, very special function for the body. Okay. So in short, it helps with the body metabolism. So really? It, oh, yes. If you eat for the food that you eat to digest well, it depends on the hormone that the thyroid gland produces. So the thyroid gland produces a hormone which is called thyroxine. And that thyroxine is what helps with most of our body metabolism. So we eat for the food to digest, for all the other parts of our body to grow, for the brain growth and all that in, mm -hmm. in children. It depends on the production of this hormone. So if the thyroid gland is not producing the right amount of hormone, mm -hmm. we say that it, ha it has a disease okay. or it, there is a disorder. Some enlarged, that is the one that we mostly know, which we call the goita mm -hmm. or kompo in Akan language, mm -hmm. and some does not enlarge. So mostly those that does not enlarge, but it also has a disease, mostly is this, the scary one. Because the enlarged one... You see it, so and you're I can see something exactly, about it. Exactly, exactly. But the one that does not enlarge... You don't know, but you may be having other symptoms like in women. Let me take women first because mm -hmm. I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. And thyroid diseases affect more women than men. Mm -hmm. The reason why it affects more women than men, research has made us to understand that women, we have a lot of hormones. We are made up with a lot of hormones than men. So we have a hormone that we use for our menstruation. We have a hormone that gives us our breasts mm -hmm. and all those developments. But in men, it's not like that. So that a lot of hormone is what causes our thyroid gland sometimes to more function than in men. So thyroid gland affects more women. We take it, it we get about um, five is to one. So when you take five women having a thyroid disease, it's, it's just one man that can get it. So women have it more. However, if a woman and a man gets it, the probability of the woman surviving through the symptoms and battling with it without it being diagnosed, it's very, very well tolerated than in men. Whoa. Yes. So the same hormone that because of it, we develop it mostly. It's also the same hormone also helps us to manage through it very well. So some of the symptoms that if it's not enlarged, that you could get will be in women you can have your menstruation can be uh, messing up Irregular. either yes either you menstruate too much or it doesn't even come at, at all. all it can even stop and because you are having regular from menstruation, your throat yes it can affect you that because it helps with your body metabolism. metabolism the body metabolism meaning it's all the how your body will function basically relies on the I, hormone thinking of it is is very weird because this is where the malfunction is yes. and it can really go to affect your yeah. menstrual cycle yes not even that it can also affect your brain so in children brain development also depends on the hormone that the thyroid gland produces so sometimes um, when children who some children are born, um, one out of four thousand in the world is born without a thyroid gland, or it is there but it's not functioning at all. What what causes this effect? So some of them are hereditary. About seventy five percent of thyroid diseases are hereditary, okay. and about twenty five percent of them are acquired acquired from the kind of work that we do. So work like if you are someone who works in a radiation emitted area okay so like like our sisters and brothers who work in an airplane we know that airplane uses radiation mm -hmm. for movement so if you work in an airplane for a long time 
your probability of getting a thyroid disease or your thyroid not functioning well is very high. Or let's say you are working in an x-ray area or CT scan mm -hmm. or our brothers. So mostly when you see them, they have this badge on them, which they use to measure the amount of reels that is entering them. Okay. So if you work in that area, it is advised that at least every year when you are doing your regular medical, medical. checkup, you should check if your thyroid gland, how is it functioning? Then you would take precautionary measures before you are caught on that way. So some of the symptoms, you could lose weight, your color can change. So you can, if you're a very fair person, what well, I had it, that is how come I, I came out with the foundation. So if you're a very fair person, you can become very dark. You lose weight, you can lose your hair because it's affecting your body metabolism. It's hormonal. It's hormonal. And some of them are autoimmune. Okay. So the one that I had, like the, there are two main types. We have the hyperthyroidism and hypo. Hyper means the thyroid gland is producing too much of the hormone that I'm talking about, mm -hmm. which is called the thyroxin. And hypo means it's producing too less. So if it's producing too much, your symptoms are quite severe. And it, sometimes it makes it difficult for it to be diagnosed because some of the symptoms look like other conditions. I lost all my hair. So if you lose your hair, you think that it's, it's some, some people cancer. have hair, exactly. Or alopenia. Alopenia mm -hmm. is also people who losing their hair. You can also develop, sometimes you know someone, their eyes are not big. They mm -hmm. don't have big eyes. Mm -hmm. But you see them all, all of a sudden, their eyes are protruding. Bulging. Yes, or bulging. It's also one of the symptoms. Oh. Yeah, you see people, they are losing weight. Some of them, they walk and they are shivering. Yes. It's also one of the symptoms. So some of these physical symptoms sometimes let the doctors, their attention go there. But sometimes some of us, we don't know ourselves because of mm -hmm. the stress of work, the stress of, of the family. Uh, you know. Exactly. You get up, you are going up and down. So even if it's just only the change of color, you may not notice. That's a unkuna, a feli. A unkuna, be a fake one, yeah, been, yeah. you know, that kind of a thing. So sometimes it's so difficult for it to be diagnosed. And that is why the foundation is there to talk about it. So that if you're someone who is having irregular menses, and because it can affect your menstruation, it can also delay your being, you being fatal or having children. Yes. Hey. Yes. So mostly with our outreach programs, when we go, mostly people come to us after the, we talk. Mm -hmm. And sometimes some people have been married for years and there's no issue. When we tell them to do the thyroid function test, about 50% of them, Happen. their thyroid gland is not functioning well. So mostly when they are put on medication and they are regulated and the levels are okay, some of them are blessed with children. So at what point did you find out you had that defect? Okay, I would say that mine was there for years because when I was pregnant, didn't I didn't know. That time I was working in one of the biggest hospitals in Ghana, called the Teaching Hospital to be precise. And um, that was like 2002 when I was pregnant with my first baby, who is 20 years now. Uh, he'll be 23 soon. When I was pregnant with him, my, I was anemic. My HB level was so low. But I mean, I was just put on hematinics yeah. and all that. I'm and sure you think brought it up because, because of the pregnancy, you're not eating exactly. well and all of that. Mm -hmm. And you know, the funny thing about us as Ghanaians, mm -hmm. we always find reasons. Yes. We always find we don't, excuses. We, we don't are doctors. Fetch. We are, ah, <laughs> ah, when no more, eh, or no. Mm, oh, for malaria. malaria. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh for uh, yeah, paracetamol. Mm -hmm. We it's, abuse medication. It's, it's been our culture yes. from our great grandmothers to our grandmothers to our so mothers <laughs> and now to us. So sometimes it even affects our healthcare professionals, yeah. which I'm one of them. Sometimes it affects us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we also um, look at this person and we say that we profile people. Mm -hmm. Oh, the test he can't afford. Yeah. Let me let him just do this once mm -hmm. or let her do these yes. ones. Sometimes we profile because but as we say, not all that glitter is good. You may see someone shen shen shen, but mm -hmm. they, they exactly. So sometimes we profile people and because of that, we let them off the hook 
and we don't let them do the test that will tackle the issue, issue the root cause mm -hmm. of it. So it can also let your BP be high. It can cause you to have palpitations. So mm -hmm. you walk small, you are tired mm -hmm. and all that. Sometimes we treat symptoms. So when we, some people are, uh, their BPs are high and they are put on anti uh, hypertensive medication mm -hmm. and it's regulated. As soon as they take them off, it goes high again. Okay. And then they, we take them back on. P some people had been taking antihypertensive medication for years, but that might not be the root cause. They might not be hypertensive. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have a thyroid condition yeah. because the thyroid condition is the root cause. And because it's not being tackled, the right medication is not given then the person will just be treating so it's, symptoms. It's just, it's just managing the symptoms, exactly. but not the really dealing with the situation. Exactly. So at what point did you realize this is what I'm being faced with? Okay. So I had my third baby in 2016. And when we returned back from the US, I started being unwell after like he was like five months. So I started being unwell. I was having persistent headaches and all that. And as you see, we abused medication. I started taking medication. And along the line, I started having severe abdominal pain. And proud to having him, I had a um, memory rapture delivery because I passed a lot of water and the baby was not coming. They were pushing me to opt for CS because my first two was regular. I, I didn't want to do the CS. So oh, I no, thought, oh, health work and washing your oh, Charlie, sometimes <laughs> <laughs> I felt like, oh, my old too normal. Why, Why the first this? one? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I just put in, they gave me a lot of fluids and finally the baby came. So I thought probably when I started having the abdominal pain, I thought probably because of that. that. So I went to see my gynecologist here again and he checked everything was normal. Then he put me on some medication and it became okay. Along the line, I started having sore throat. It was on and off. I'll take strepsils, I'll take other vitamin C, and then we'll go. Oh, you, know, uh, you know, that, that. Yeah, home remedy, honey, ginger, <laughs> so warm water, kakra. <laughs> so it was, I was taking it, and it will go with some, about two weeks, it will come back. Mm -hmm. I went to see our clinic. They gave me the same set of medication. I took it and still. So then I realized, I was losing weight. Now along the line, my husband prompted me, your lower limbs are looking very dark. dark. Is, it, is everything okay? So that was what made me more concerned. Mm -hmm. Then I started going to see a physician. So I went back to the gynecologist and he was like, I think you should see a physician. So I went to see one of the physicians who is a friend at Colibu and he was like, let's do these tests. I did a lot of labs. All of them were not really showing anything. And I realized I was losing weight. I lost weight to the extent that before I came back from the U.S., I was size 16, size 10 was even big on me. And it's a natural slimming And any anybody asks me, I tell the person I'm working out. Ooh. Because I didn't know what was what wrong, wrong with, with me. You? Yeah. And you are asking me, ah, Nana Jawu, Lucy, wait, is everything okay? What's wrong with you? I don't know. And so, you see, that's one thing about us. Sometimes people are going through something. Yes. And we judge them. The way mm. we go about, about it. it. it had an waffle, sir. Mm -hmm. like, often, you, 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 you know, or, 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 I don't live my life for you. Exactly. Uh -huh. so so sometimes we just need to be a little bit concerned. Exactly. The person could be dealing with something. Mm -hmm. So I was like, um, so I started going to the other doctors. When I go and I realize that nothing is coming, I move to the next one because I, I had worked in Kolibu for like 16 years. I knew every consultant. Okay. So I just moving from one to the other. To the other. <laughs> then I kept doing the test. It was just one test which was showing that my liver function test was a bit bad. Mm -hmm. But the doctor who saw me, the consultant, he was like, Nana, you don't do herbal. You, you don't so much abuse drugs. Okay, let's stop all pain relievers and any medication and, you are taking for the next three something. weeks and see. We stopped it three weeks and we checked and it was okay. okay. So then, then what you're is... really abusing it. Oh, yeah, I was because I can't even sleep. Headaches was just so much. So I lost weight later, my muscles was becoming weak to the extent I couldn't even lift my baby. That time I had gone through this for almost seven months. 
I couldn't lift him. And so by by force, by fire, I had to stop breastfeeding him. He wasn't even yet getting anything, uh, getting anything out of the breast milk. Well, wow, Nana, let, let's take a break <laughs> now. I said, Oh, my, we are sure to be a crying person. I said, With you, I won't know. I had my hands. We'll be right back after this break. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sandwich chip took the worry away. Easy. The new Yas extra long sanitary pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. But don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. 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 Feel confident. Stay fresh. Is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence. I got yes. We got yes protection. I got yes. Extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. Delicious jollof in just 45 minutes, and with no chopping, no blending, no cutting. Let me show you how. Pour oil in a pan. Add one 210 grams pack of Tasty Tom Jollof Mix and fry 10 minutes on medium heat. Add one liter of water or stock water, season and salt and bring to a boil. Add 800 Pepsodent is aware that globally, one in two children suffer from cavities. That's why by giving her Pepsodent, you're not only protecting her teeth, but also helping her grow up and thrive at every stage of her life with a healthy and confident smile so she can succeed and achieve all of her dreams. Because every smile matters. Every child is so unique You like no other Outstanding in every way It's me like no other So anytime you walk and play You like no other You are special that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? As well as their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook, I can paint. You like no other. In the mix, hey. in the mix. You like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, Remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introducing Indomie Beef Flavor by now. This advert is FDA approved. Kojo, wait. Where are you getting all these items from in this economy? Kojo, are you stealing her papa? It's not like that. There is a guaranteed gift in every bag of royal aroma or precious rice you buy. 
Oh yes, the good news is true. This one can not be try your luck. Get to the nearest market and pick up any of the amazing Royal Aroma range of products or precious rice. You go win something instantly. Run away, dear. Royal Aroma say. Oh yeah, Let's have this. FDA approved. Hey, you people, you are not hungry, eh? Oh, we are, oh, ma. We'll be there soon. Go, 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 go. Oh, why are you so upset? Oh. Babe, please calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Are you don't know. Have you seen this red light? Oh, this red light is wicked. Oh, you are telling me to calm down. Don't let hunger slow your vein. Chuck it with the great tasting Royal King Cracker made with butter and fortified wheat flour to keep you going with your boga level intact. Royal King Cracker, take chalk your hunger. This advert is FDA approved. Welcome to our super crazy giveaway moment. We are still at Roji One Hair Studio and I'm having a good time because all these lovely ladies love restoration with Stacy. Sweetheart, how are you? I'm fine. Your name? Angela. Angela, Angela, speak up. Speak up, by the way. Now, maybe I will meet my mom and I will ferry me to say. The Angie, my partial episode, your favorite. Kitty, didn't name your favorite. Eh, better than your kitty. Young guess, you move a kitty, I send papa. That's your home, and I'm your kitty episode. I assume you're in your film, and it's say, so Nipa, who's like, oh, Baba, boy, oh, Siswa, baby, oh, baby, I found who's shame. As a kid, all of us have a small tournament. The boots are called Bonabonfia, and money, and one year. Say, our money, our money, and the same one year dead Okay, yeah. One year said, Do you say, I'm far or back to school? It's well, oh, yeah, they're fine. No, Brenda wants to be out in who's shame and fine. And to say, do my miss me, say, be the moon shame, a bomia. It was a form of any better me home. In see, kid did name your favorite. Wow, bonse ma ho, bonse ma ho, bonse ma ho. In see, say kid did name your favorite. I know you so high sense, so you're your favorite. In see, yes, so yeah, that was see be And I then I'll catch your high sense. High sense, me da moa say. Say I share the favorite for me da moa me da moa say. High sense, everyday prizes for for everyday people. Thank you very much. Next week we'll come your way with another winner. Restoration. Welcome back from our High Sense Super Crazy Giveaway moment. And that is our winner for this week. Very soon, Nanadra will get to pick a card and we'll see what she will take home. Nanadra, yes, so after your husband saw your lower limbs yeah. and so it was getting dark, you've seen all the consultants, the back and forth. When was the news broken to you? Like? Okay, so it was like almost eight months. Uh, one of the my week my 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 nerves became very weak. In oh, I'm not. In table, oh no, ma. This my husband saw me mu. No, the men share bath him. I'm me jarry. No, I saw me mu a p. No, but from what you're saying, some can also look at it and go like, oh, this is spiritual. Oh yes, and they be brimy, they be brimy. Conform, catch him see him baby. But there's some of us who don't believe in those things. So me, I told them, so, and that time I had just gotten a new position. Okay. So around the time, so I was like, oh, oh, you know, somebody was eyeing the seat and you've been put on and all that. So, they, so they, I told them that. They, they, are, they are giving you a little mafia yeah, work. Exactly. I told them that the all in I used to say mm -hmm. that. So I... People were suggesting all sorts of things, but I never paid attention to because I knew that medically there was something wrong. So one day I was walking through, there's this doctor friend, which we have the saying that she's also a draw. So I call her mini Adra, she also say mini Adra. I saw her, I called her, she turned, she was just going. And I said, mini Adra. Then she was like, Nanaja, what's wrong with you? Let's go to my office. That time, I, my folder was like this because my hair loves to be here, you know. So we went to her office and all your stuff, mommy. So before then, whilst we were going, I was telling her what I've been through and all that. She knelt in front of me and she held my hand and she prayed that God give us a sign. 
So after she was just going through the folder and she was like, Nanaja, there's only one thing that is striking. You have a grave disease. And that time I knew about, I had had thyroid, but I did not have, I had not had anything like grave disease. I was mm -hmm. like, grave disease, what is grave disease? In fact, my heart skipped. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, he said, one of the type of thyroid disorders, which mostly is tricky, it hides mostly. When people die and they, they want to know the cause of death, that is when sometimes it shows it up. Shows. So in scientific way, call it, we call it grave disease. So that's what I think you have. And it was a Friday. So she wrote a prescription, though I had not done the test. She still wrote a prescription. She was like, do Stop this, this test. No, I should do the test. Mm -hmm. And once it's ready, I should send it to her test. I should buy the medication okay. before it's Monday because she thinks that that is what I have. So I went to do the test right away. The report was ready in the evening. I, I could read it. And when I read it, I saw that my levels were just too high. So when I said she was like, thank God, that is it. So just buy the medication. So right that evening, you started. I, I started the medication. And I was on it for almost six months. And my levels were OK. So you started seeing improvements. I, yes. I mean, when you're, you're put on the medication to regulate the overproduction, because the one like the grave disease is one of the overproduction, and that one is also an autoimmune one. Okay. So mostly it will suppress the way it is producing, mm -hmm. the hormone and all that. So once I started the medication, within two weeks, I saw improvement. I, the, the, my nerves that were weak was getting better, and I started seeing improvement with my color and all that. So I was on it. So every month I had to go and do the test, test because... To check the levels. So based on the level is when what they put you on, what, how many tablets you have to take. take. So the care is also very expensive because you have to do the test every month. You have to <laughs> buy medication. And my, my class you have to... <laughs> So it's, 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 you need support in but all, and, and, and all around. For yare. Debi, debi. Thyroid disease is not here for yare. In this so be time, we know the thyroid yare, but we are not time or power. That's why I tell people. Because it's, it's really, everything goes into it. Sometimes you can't even wash your own things. You need that support. Sometimes you can't even eat the food that you always like to eat. Something weird you eat, sometimes you feel like throwing up. And you are weak, you need someone to help you. If you have children, you need someone to help you with your children. It, it's quite serious. You need institutional support because every day, if you are someone who is hardworking, like some of us, we take our work tournament. Mm -hmm. You work so hard, you get to the office and you can't even concentrate Trained. to even do what you have to do because you are so stressed, you are so weak and you're, all. You're tired. Exactly. Because sometimes at night, you are not able to sleep. So the following morning, exactly, and you have to go out to work. So you need institutional support as well. So if you're someone who works hard, your your office should understand. So when I started the foundation... And you could even work from home, exactly. if possible. So if possible. When I started the foundation, people who had the foundation had come across, sometimes when they don't get that support, sometimes I walk to their bosses and go and talk to them and explain how serious the condition, condition is. is so that they can if they can let them work from home days that they are not in that capacity to move mm -hmm. they should allow them because you need institutional support you need family support you need financial support and it's it's quite crazy because it just tr slows you down in everything that you like to do the most and it's it's quite serious so Sometimes it's when you get up, you, you have a severe headache, even though you're on the medication. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're taking the medication, but you get up, you have a severe headache. Sometimes you can't even really concentrate. You are up, but you can't even put one and two together, together. for you to put yourself in that mood mm -hmm. to move to the office. So it's quite a whole journey that one needs to really embrace it. Sometimes we, we, we just don't want to embrace the fact that I have a thyroid condition. Yeah. So I tell people that before you can take this journey, you have to accept it. Yeah. That this is it. This is my cross. 
you are the only one who can carry the cross. Mm -hmm. The doctors can just prescribe the medication yeah. for you. If you go to your house and you say that the medication is too much, you won't take it. The doctor yeah, cannot do anything. On to me, no more. So, you know, you need to embrace it and accept it so that you can take up the challenge. Because even if your family is supporting you, especially, let's say, with your chores and all that, mm -hmm. they have a limit that they can yeah. go. So sometimes you have to also push yourself. So yes, it little. is, but I need to mm -hmm. live beyond this. I tell people, when you, are, you have a thyroid condition, you have to say to yourself, I'm going to live beyond this. Yeah. So after I was diagnosed and I went through it, my levels were normalized. Then there are three um, medical in interventions. Either you be on the medication for a longer time, or you can do a thyroid surgery for them to remove the thyroid gland, which is overproducing the hormone. Or we have something that we call radioactive iodine treatment, okay. which is a radiation turned into tablet. Mm -hmm. What it does is you they administer it on you. It's supposed to go in there and kill the thyroid gland so that it will stop the product overproduction. But then again, all these medical interventions, it's not everyone who qualifies. Okay. So for instance, if you have to do a thyroid surgery and maybe there's some other medical condition that you have because of that condition, you can't do the surgery that will not be what you can have do. To do. Exactly. Then you might have to opt, opt for the radioactive iodine okay. treatment, which is also very expensive and <laughs> very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so, <laughs> yes. so even that one too, it's not everyone who also qualifies. Five. So with my, and mostly that one, it's for those of us that ours is not showing, it is mm -hmm. not big, it's not a lie that mm -hmm. we call the goiters. Is if it's enlarged, you can't do. You don't qualify for the radioactive iodine because it won't shrink it. Mm -hmm. It's not not lately that they brought something called the radiation ablation, which is not yet done in Africa here. Okay. It's done out there, out which there. that one they they used to shrink it, but you have to do it in bits and pieces, pieces. To, so it gets to that normal size. So. Radioactive iodine treatment, I couldn't qualify because I ha my baby was less than five years. If you have a baby who is less than five years with you, or you are staying with children whose age is le below five years, you don't qualify because you'll be emitting some of the rules and it can affect their brain development. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's not everyone that qualifies. For it. Yes. If you have other um, medical conditions which can also trigger you mm -hmm. having it too, no doctor will administer that on you. So mostly they will weigh you, check your other medical condition mm -hmm. before they will recommend Mint. which one that would work for you. So which you. did you? So I did, you wouldn't yeah, know. Yeah, you think it's just you yeah, see the, the lines, the lines on yes. the neck. I did it here in Ghana. Wow. Mostly people are like they're afraid of surgeries and all mm -hmm. that. Though a thyroid surgery, there are a lot of myths that you, when they do, you can't talk again, again. and all that. Some people, mm -hmm. people want to go out there to do it. Mm -hmm. I always say we have good surgeons here in Ghana. What's it in Kolebu? Yeah, in Kolebu. Oh. We have good surgeons here in Ghana. We have good surgeon, uh, physicians in Ghana. We have to trust in our own because they're doing great job. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go and do it by the roadside. Mostly exactly. these things happen. People go to one man somewhere yes. who is doing almost everything. everything and that is where sometimes the person is not competent and they don't have that required skills mm -hmm. but because of the money they are collecting they will tell you oh i can do it and that is when sometimes some of these mistakes can happen okay. because the thyroid gland is very close to our vocal cord so if you don't do it with the right person who has done the surgeries before it then becomes complicated. It can become complicated, very complicated. And you can lose your voice and you can also have other conditions, hoarse, hoarseness in the voice. Some people do the surgery and their voice is not never clear again. Oh. But if you do it with the right person, yes. So sometimes people are afraid. I've had a lot of um, surgeons who are referring people to me. Oh, go and talk to Nanaja because when they are so much scared, they need to calm down, but when you are scared, it's so difficult for yeah. them to do the surgery. So it was after the sur my surgery, then before the surgery, I told God that when I'm okay, 
I would want to start a foundation mm -hmm. to support because I had stayed in Kolibu and I didn't know grave disease. I didn't know that the thyroid disease is not all of them that enlarge. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about it mm -hmm. because um, it's not out there. People don't know, know about it. exactly. So I just said that something had to be done about it. So I had my surgery in March 2018 and July 2018, I launched the foundation. Wow. So, but how, how was the recovery process? Oh, the surgery, when you, you do, they do the surgery, two days you are discharged. Oh. It's not any... It's yeah. nothing scary. No, it's, it's, it's scary, but if you do it with the right person, person, you recover fast and then you just, you're good to go. Are you able to talk right after the surgery? Oh, yes. You're able to talk. This. Even if you don't talk, they won't even take you out of theater. Oh. It means that probably there's something wrong, wrong, so they would want to find out why. So when your eyes open, mostly after the surgery, they put you in theater recovery, okay. but they want you to hear you talk. So okay. they will wake you up and ask you, how are you doing? There will be a little pain, just like we get sore. When mm -hmm. you get sore, it's yeah. painful. They will ask you, talk, we want to hear if your voice is out. out. Yes, exactly. So you have to talk before they would let they you pull you uh, out. It's, yes, to the word. So... My surgery was done on a Monday, and the Wednesday I was just How charged. long was the surgery? So mine, because it was not out, it was not enlarged. Everyone in there, some people, three hours they are done. Some people, because it, it, it's a whole, it's a full anesthesia. Okay. You had to be put to sleep. So okay. the anesthetists would do their own thing, which would take some time before the surgeons would cut you open. Mine, because it was not really showing, there was no enlargement. They thought it was... But along the line, I was waking up, and I heard them say that, hey, she's waking up. Oh. We thought that, but it's really growing inside. Oh. Yes. So mine took like five hours. They kept long so on it, me. So it, it was an, an internal growth. Exactly. They kept long on me. I, I heard them. So I, when I woke up, I told them I heard everything they were saying. So, so they had to administer another dose of anesthesia so that they can really um, finish everything before I woke up. You're a fighter. Yes, I am. And I'm helping others to also fight. So when, when you got home, yeah. two days, and looking at you, you are an iron woman. Yeah. You don't want to sleep. You just don't yeah. want to be active. Yes. Did it take you long to get back to your normal activities? No, no, no. It didn't. So Even if the doctors were telling you to sleep, you're not going to uh, sleep. No, no. I won't sleep. So my former boss would tell you, would told me, Professor Yautete told me, Nanaja, there's no small surgery. You need to slow down. But I can't slow down. You know, some of us, slowing it's down is it's just part of us. So it was like, you have to slow down. So... I couldn't. I had to. I got back to my normal things because after the surgery, the Friday, the, I was discharged on the, the Friday. I went for dressing. The following week, Monday, they removed the end stages and they opened it. They opened. They took the plaster off, and that was it. I, I was just using the rubbing alcohol to rub it and then applying shea butter because before the surgery i had done a lot of the reading research. i had done a lot of research because my work involves research mm -hmm. so i had done a lot of research as to recovery as to the soil mm -hmm. management and all that and i knew what i had to do personally so that is what i am out there using to help other people to also fight the thyroid fight how did your husband take all of that I know that along the line he was scared, but he was being a man. A man. Like for me to know that, no, everything is fine mm -hmm. and all that. Because in, initially when I wanted the radioactive iodine and because my little one was less than two years, they were like, mm -hmm. no, you don't qualify. And I had to do the surgery. Along the line I was a bit scared, but he was like, no, you'll be fine. Just, just let's do it. Then, but some, I, I, sometimes I would... I will, I'll be asleep, but I wake up and I'll see him sitting watching me, oh. uh, especially around the time that I was not diagnosed. They didn't know what was wrong with mm -hmm. me. I will see him, he's, he's sitting watching me, and I think he was really worried because my baby was very young mm -hmm. and it was, it was quite difficult. But he was being a man. He, didn't, he never made me know he was scared, mm -hmm. but I knew deep within. It's a yeah, man. brand issue. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because that's so. so uh, we gave birth to the foundation, and currently we are doing so much well. We are having, we, we have a lot of patients in our network, in our 
and we are helping a lot of them, linking them to the appropriate, appropriate doctors and well, appropriate that's consultants. That, that's the key thing. Yes, where, where you have to go, where you need to do the surgery. Mm -hmm. And then currently one of our biggest breakthrough is we are having a project with the University of Ghana Medical Center. Mm, that's great. Where we are doing project subsidized thyroid surgery. Um, I wrote a lot of letters to a lot of uh, facility to do it with us, mm -hmm. but they are like, oh, the money and all that. But that time around, that was before COVID time, mm -hmm. uh, just around the time COVID came in. And I had a lot of patients who thyroid surgeries were pushed because most of them were going to mm -hmm. It was They kept canceling because of COVID. So they, they would be calling me anti I've been having pains and all that. And so I started writing to hospitals to help out. Then that time I got uh, employment at EGMC, okay. so I'm now currently with them. And I went to see the CEO. Before then, I discussed with the surgeon, and he was like, Oh, why not? If chief accepts it, I'm here to serve. And at first in Ghana, it was battle that they were always it's doing the surgeries. To... Yes, and so mostly surgeons who train at battle when they finish their training and they go to battle. One of the surgeries they do mostly is the thyroid surgery. Yeah. So the one that we are doing the project with is he's from Bato. So we ha we started. I, I think there is something about your institution. Yeah. Because one of your doctors, um, Dr. Sheena, yeah, actually Sheena. got in touch with me. He he was my doctor at Dell. Yeah. So he got in touch with me. He said um, he was doing something to help deprived communities. Yes and wanted to collaborate. Yeah. And I, I told him, Sheena, this is beautiful. Yeah. Because people need help, yes. but they don't have the funding. Yes, so if every health institution can take it upon themselves to say, this once every year or twice every year, we're going to select a community to go to, to support, I think we'll be given our own quota. I think it's the leadership. I think yeah, so. so. The UGNC leadership is something else. And when you write to them, you want to collaborate. And they they respond. Exactly. They really? always and what receive you. And not OBR they you. always will receive you. And it's not just even responding to give you negative. They will tell you yes, but probably we can't give what you are saying. But what this is how to. we can exactly. So since 2020, they, we started the collaboration with them when we were celebrating World Thyroid Awareness Month. They gave us 20 patients and they made them pay one fourth of the full wow. amount. In 2021, they continue. 2022, they I have continue. to visit. And, you Do, should. Dr. Sheena has you invited should. I've never been there. It's a very beautiful and hospital. And, uh, he you told, should you, come. You know what he said? He's like, if you visit us, you won't go, you anywhere. Will not go anywhere. You won't again. go anywhere. Because he knows I'm very fussy when it comes to hospitals. You won't go anywhere. <laughs> like, you're not going anywhere. And we are doing a lot of training. So, the training that we're doing, so staff behavior is also picking up and we'll continue with the training so that I'll come we and won't visit. disappoint. Be, I'll come sure. and do like a full tour. Yes, of please. The, come. The we'll be happy will, to take you I through. Will. That's a promise. I'll come. Yes. I'll come with my team. Yes. So all that we you. all get to see the good work you're doing. It's very doing. beautiful. I'd like to say a very big thank you to you for coming. We've got into the time where I give you something. For being a survivor, high sense is giving you the high sense super crazy giveaway moment. So you pick a card here. Then you hand it to me, then we know what you picked. All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You take home a high sense rice cooker. Thank you. So, Nana, thank you so much thank for coming. You very much. God bless you God and bless keep you on too. being amazing. Sure. I'm you. sure a lot of people are going to call you. So, yes. in case anybody needs help, mm -hmm. what number can they call? So if someone needs help, they can call 0243-376304. Can you repeat it? 0243-376304. So when it, it comes, we'll pick and then we'll talk to you. And we'll then give them an appointment you. to come exactly. over. Exactly. 0243 so Nana, this is also from Lexta Ghana, producers of Yas. So you have all your Yas products here. Thank They're saying thank you very much and keep being amazing. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank for you very me. much to our sponsors, Hisense Everyday Prizes for Everyday People, Yas Washing Powder and Yas Sanitary Pad, Hooch Corn, 
and Choco Flakes, La Palme Royal Beach Hotel, Adonko Original Hand Sanitizer, and Adonko Next Level. A very big thank you to my Glam Squad, ABS Lux Line, Manuela Hair Studio, located at North Legon, opposite Cheesy Pizza. Thank you to GH Beauty Artistry for my guest makeup and Divine Cassie for my makeup. A big thank you to uh, my production company, M Clan Media Production. You guys are simply amazing. And of course, to Brian Phil Photography. It has been amazing. If you know you're having any of the symptoms, please kindly go and get checked. It won't kill you. It's better to know than to wonder. And if you go and your readings are high or abnormal, kindly get in touch with Nanajwa so her foundation can help you get the best care. Always do remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We'll see you next week.